Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 3rd of 2023. Well, it is titled the Falcon and the Redstone. So what do we see here? Well, here we have an image taken a few days ago, in fact, on July 29th, and it is uh, an image of one of the launches here of the SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket. And in this case, it was taking a payload to geosynchronous orbit. Now there's a difference between going up to the International Space Station and traveling into geosynchronous orbit. There's a very large difference in the amount of energy needed to put something up that much higher. The space station is only a few hundred miles above Earth's surface. Geosynchronous orbit would be 22,000 miles above Earth. So you need a lot more energy to lift things into a high orbit like that than you do into a lower orbit to say something like the International Space Station. So why do we want to put things into a geosynchronous orbit? Well, in a geosynchronous orbit, an object will stay in the same position in the sky as seen from Earth. So if you're looking up at a orbit uh, object in orbit in geosynchronous, then it would stay in the same general area of the sky. And you can you make that a lot easier if you're using things for like communications, which was this case, it was, case, it was loading a communication satellite up into orbit. Now, here we see the launch, the launch is the long arcing streak going across. And then we see two other partial streaks, the two at the very top and the two at the bottom. And those are both actually the same things. Those are the booster rockets returning to Earth. So they use a reusable booster that then travels back down to Earth. So it doesn't use up all its fuel, but it leaves enough that it can do a re-entry burst. And that's the two little bursts we see up at the top of the image. And then enough to decelerate it down at the end. And those are the streaks we see towards the middle of the image off in the distance, where those two uh, boosters were returned to Earth to be able to re be refueled and used again for future missions. Now that was the Falcon. What is Redstone? Well, Redstone is actually the other rocket, the Redstone rocket shown in the foreground here. And it was actually a Redstone rocket that carried Alan Shepard into a suborbital space flight in 1961, reaching a little over 100 miles. And that would signify the first time that an American traveled in to space and actually the second person to travel into space uh, shortly after Yuri Gagarin traveled into space. So it was again the beginning of the space age and of human uh, time in space. So here we see not that rocket, but a similar one to the one that launched the first American into space back in the very early part of the 1960s. So that was our picture of the day for August 3rd of 2023. It was titled The Falcon and the Redstone. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be moon rays. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.